All right, so again, one of those days. <laughs> I don't know why I keep filming these. So this is my house right back here and we're cleaning our next door neighbors. So I decided I was going to take my drone and get some aerial footage of the driveway cleaning and the house wash because it was convenient, it was next door, it was gonna be easy, it was gonna be smooth, everything was gonna be but no. So check this out. What are you doing? I'm trying to find my drone. Oh no, for real? Yeah. All right, so I found that drone. It is very wet. It is not functioning, but I am gonna get it back up in the air. But today I wanna to talk about the proper way to clean a driveway. We all see driveways that look absolutely horrible, whether it's streaks, whether it's lines, whether it's wand marks, whether it's swirl marks. These are all things that can be avoided if you know exactly how to do it properly, like a professional. Whether it's a homeowner or another company that maybe doesn't have the right equipment, maybe they don't have the proper knowledge, maybe they don't have the understanding of the chemicals needed to clean a driveway properly. So we're gonna go over that today and watch as we clean my next door neighbor's driveway. But before we get started, let's talk about some of the things that can be avoided if you know what you're doing. Walk around any neighborhood and you're bound to see concrete just like this. These swirl marks are caused by going too fast. Now, surface cleaners make things go so much faster when you're cleaning concrete, but also remember that slow and steady is the name of the game. You don't want to go too fast because you're going to leave swirl marks, so when you see them, slow it down. These stripes are a perfect example of overlapping and the need to minimize that overlap as much as possible. The striping is caused because that area is being cleaned twice, meaning it's twice as clean as a non-overlapped area, so there's a high potential to leave stripes. You can avoid this by pre-treating and post-treating the concrete. Anytime we're surface cleaning a driveway, we always pre-treat it by downstreaming our house wash mix on the entire surface. This does two things. It helps break down and loosen up any of the organic material on the concrete, and it also does a great job helping to reduce striping, swirl marks, and just brightening up the concrete. After moving any kind of planters or doormats out of the way, we start with the wand and cut in any areas that we're not gonna be able to get with the surface cleaner. This really speeds things up. After that, we hook up the surface cleaner and get to cleaning. Obviously, every driveway is different and the slope of the driveway is gonna generally dictate where you start and what direction you go. We always try to start at the highest point, letting gravity help with water management and the entire rinsing process. As you can see, as we're going back and forth on this concrete, we're trying to minimize the overlap, which is going to reduce the chance of striping. Once you get used to it and your machine, you're gonna become a pro and it's not gonna be an issue at all. Depending on how big the driveway is and how hot it is outside will help determine the best time to rinse. If it's a big driveway or if it's really hot out, it's a good idea to rinse before you finish surface cleaning because you don't want that driveway to dry, leaving all that dirt on the driveway. So as we finish up this driveway, let's go over a few things. Reduce the overlap. If you see swirl marks, you gotta slow it down. The only time you should ever be using a wand on a driveway is when you're cutting in corners or getting areas that the surface cleaner just can't get to. So invest in the right equipment that's gonna allow you to do the job as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible, making you the most money possible. That's why you buy a surface cleaner. All right, guys, so I came back the next day. I wanted to see this thing while it is all dry. That's a tire mark, that's not from us. But as you can see, our pre-treatment and our post-treatment work great. There are no streaks, there are no lines, and there are no swirl marks. We have a beautifully clean driveway, a happy customer, and that's how you do it. Hey, appreciate you watching. Have a great day.